So, this is our new solar dehydrator. We've got, uh, it's almost all made of wood from the land here. Just a little bit of metal in the hinges, this clasp right here. And then we've got in here, the trays have a little bit of uh, mesh to put the food on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take different foods we'd like to preserve, cut them up into fairly thin pieces so they'll dry pretty well, fill up all these trays, and uh, then we're going to see how it works. Let's take a look at why a solar dehydrator like this works. So normally, uh, in the past, what we used to do when we were cavemen and stuff, was we would just dry foods in the sun. And that does work in a lot of the world. But they're exposed to the light, they're exposed to bugs and all kinds of stuff. So this is an improvement on how we used to preserve things a long, long time ago. Let's look at why it works. Down here, we've got the cold air uh, out here coming into this. The sun is coming through the glass, hitting the black uh, surface and heating up this air. Well, it's an interesting thing to understand is that uh, cold air actually holds less moisture than warm air. So as this air heats up, it moves up here, and it's thirsty air. It's looking to pick up moisture. So it enters into here through a screen and passes by the food. So all that air, that really hungry, uh, thirsty air rather, is, is drying out the food. So in one day or perhaps two, depending on the sun, we'll end up with, with really dried pieces of food. Now, why would we want to dry the food? Well, food preservation has a lot of advantages. One of them is you can move food from when it's cheap to when it isn't. So for example, right now, mangoes are extremely cheap. You can buy them out of the back of a pickup truck. It's 30 pesos, no, it's 20 pesos for three kilos. So that's like $1.50 for about seven pounds, so they're just about free. So in other parts of the year, they wouldn't even be available. So we buy them when they're cheap, we'll cut them into strips and put them in here, they'll dry out. Those dried mangoes are so sweet because they're nice and concentrated, and so we'll be able to eat those all the rest of the year. We can do the same thing for tomatoes. Tomatoes are very cheap during part of the year and very expensive during other parts of the year. So we dry those tomatoes out, we might pack them into some olive oil or something, and all the rest of the year we'll have these really great tomatoes. So this whole system here ends up being a really easy to use uh, thing with no moving parts hardly except for the door that every day we could fill it up and be doing a lot of food dehydration. One question is, well, what do we do when there's no sun? I want to solve that problem too, but we're going to build a different kind of dehydrator that uses charcoal and it can be used even when it's rainy out or when, it, when there's no sun at all. We can use it under a roof, and so we'll be drying things that way all year long. But that will be in another video.